Hold on, Caro, hold on. Tony! Ah! So many shambas to shape. Welcome to Shamba Shape Up. Now, being a young, hard-working farmer doesn't mean you can't have a well-cooked hot meal. George, uh -huh. what are you preparing? I'm preparing tea. Ah, tea with what? Tea and bread. Is that all you're going to have? I just want to have that because of time. Time? Yes. yes. Well, you're in luck because I'm going to cook for you. Really? What would you like me to prepare for you? Uh, mokimo? I don't know how to make mokimo. <laughs> beef? Not very good with beef. Still some kind of tea and rice. Stew and rice. Uh, just wait. What do you know? George definitely needs help with his meals. Not only in preparation, but also in saving time, energy, and money. Danson from Mex is here to show him that being a bachelor shouldn't mean staying hungry. This is George, our farmer here. I've been trying to cook for him. My cooking is good, isn't it, George? Am I a good cook? I'm not sure about you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't convince him. I can't okay. convince him. Mm -hmm. Now, can you convince George okay. to cook for himself? This is called an electric pressure cooker. You can prepare any type of meal on this. Like if you want to prepare githeri, you want to prepare njahi, you want to prepare ugali. I, I was told you really love ugali. Ah. And I found out that the EPC is the best one to prepare that. Why? Because uh, it has an unsticky pan. You can prepare ugali, pour it down on a sahani, and then remain with the pot as clean as it was. Then you can prepare veggies. Then you can pour it down and wait, prepare wait, wait, another wait, wait. You, you don't have to wash it? No need. No need. It comes it's out non -stick. completely. It's nonstick. It's nonstick. I saw you struggling to wash a sufuria, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, was that was a big struggle. <laughs> For this gadget to be efficient, uh, such a gadget must be uh, of good quality. This also will apply also for the house electrification, where mm. you are going to hook these uh, appliances to. It needs better wiring. W what if someone's house is not properly wired? What happens? It will affect the efficiency of uh, such a gadget. Mm. So the quality of the socket, the quality of the wiring, all of them, they are factors that really contribute to the efficiency. Okay. Uh, I've also seen in some places where people just loop whatever has been used for lighting. For instance, lighting uses very, very light uh, kind of cabling. If you use that one for such, you might not get the efficiency that such nice uh, gadgets produce. Before we got cooking, we brought in Elvis Mwale, an electrical technician, to have a look at George's wiring. What he found wasn't good. George's house had a broken earth connection. Every house should have a good earth connection. The earth wire redirects electric current into the ground and away from appliances in case of any incident, protecting your appliances and yourself. With that fixed and everything else checked and found to be okay, we got cooking. I want to explain to you how to make nice ugali. Put your water and then sprinkle some flour not much. This is just to regulate the temperature on top so that there is uniformity when the water is boiling. Then you press a button here, denoted ugali. It will make the water boil for about three minutes or so. You start putting in the flour at intervals. You don't just pour it at once. Make sure that you stir it completely so that you don't have lumps in it. Then you can put this one on top, uh, the cover, to leave it to simmer so that it doesn't come out very dry. It's just professional. How many minutes? At most, you're not supposed to take more than seven minutes. Ugali done. We rinsed the pot, fried some onions, put in the vegetables, quickly steamed them, and we were ready to eat. Delicious, isn't it, George? Yeah, sure. So what do you think about your cooking companion? She's perfect. She? Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> Danson. Yes, sir. There's some more ugali here to go with your ugali. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe I wanted George to confirm how many cows is he giving me in form of dowry because I've brought a good companion. Oh, you're naughty, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> they say every good turn deserves another. And that is what George got. He fixed the cow shed roof so no more cows getting rained on. 
feed troughs are in a better shape and the cows now have proper water troughs. With an improved farm, he's now on his way to becoming an even better dairy farmer. It's a good job, yes. it's an excellent one. And I feel there will be more production. Uh -huh. Can I give myself a minimum of 300 what? liters? That's a minimum? Yes. Minimum of 300? Yes, yes, I can. It's a prove. bet. It's a bet. Yeah, let's check on it. Ah, the future is the youth. Tony, it's yes. time for us to go. So we'll see you next time. Thank you. All right. Yeah. See you later. Keep it shaba shaba. Keep milking the cows. Thank you.